This is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and I am working on a card right now. But first I wanted to do just a really super fast um, tutorial on what I'm going to do as the decoration for my card. So I have these medallions and I'm using them for my card. Now these are leftovers. If you saw a recent posts that I did um, where I made 60 little thank you cards for my son to give to his newspaper route people. Um, and these are leftover from that post. And I was getting ready to clean up my scraps so I could start my next project. And I thought, oh, you know what? I need a thank you card. So I wanted to make a thank you card. And since this stuff was already all out, I went ahead and grabbed some coordinating papers and went to work on it. So, what I did is I took my um, Fisker's hole punch. I believe this is a two inch punch. Um, my writing's rubbed off of it, but I believe it's a two inch punch. And I punched that out. And now I'm making almost like a flower petal out of this. And it's really simple to do. This is the Merlot Three Girl Jam ribbon. And so before I finished it, I thought I would go ahead and show you what I'm doing. So I've got on the back, and the glue that I'm using right now is my Tombow Mono Multi Glue. And I really like this because it has the thin tip is really fine and it puts just a small bead of glue down. Um, you could also use Scotch Quick Dry for this and you could probably use Glossy Accents too, but I, this is just what I grabbed. So what I'm doing is I'm doing just little bits at a time so that I don't, I want to keep my ribbon here so that I don't end up wasting any. And then I'm just coming here and I just put a little line right along the edge. And then I just am finger pleating. Now the thing is, because this is very porous ribbon, meaning there's lots of little holes in the ribbon, it's thin, um, the crinkle ribbon is really thin. Because of that, I am able to not have to go back. If you were using like a grow grain ribbon or something like that, you would, you would possibly have to go back and add glue where you pleat as well. But because this ribbon is porous like it is, the glue goes through the ribbon. And so my little pleats stay in place without adding extra ribbon, which is one of the beautiful things of this ribbon. So as you can see, again, I'm just gonna put another little strip here and just finger pleat it, just simple little pleats. I don't want great big pleats because this is a, you know, a small little medallion, but I'm just making simple little pleats with my fingers. Yes, I'm getting a little bit of glue on my fingers, but it will wash. And I'm just going back and forth and pleating my ribbon and I'm almost to the edge. See how easy that is? My fingers are getting sticky, so it's getting just like that. Now, if you wanted to, you could make bigger pleats if you were working on something larger, or even this would be pretty with bigger pleats, almost like a, oh, what are those called? Like, um, not pinwheel pleats, but the big medallion pleats, like what you see on the 4th of July and stuff. You could do something like that too. But I just wanted the simple pleats, the simple little, just to give it not really a, so much a pleated look as just a little roughly edge. And that's just my last one. And I want to kind of make it hopefully kind of flow so that there's not obvious breaks. There, I think we did that. So there we have it, there we have our medallion. So I'm just going to finish setting up for the rest of the card and then I'll come back and show you, but I wanted to show you that quick way to um, just really dress up something really cute. And of course, using three girl jam ribbon. Okay, let's get started on our card. Now, if you remember correctly, I used this green. Oh, it's called Leaf. I thought it was a chartreuse color, but it's called Leaf, and it's from Coordination, um, Coordination's Foundations, and it's a smooth textured cardstock. And this is just a leftover piece of green that I had. So we're going to use that as our card base. I'm just going to set that aside. And then from the Cutting Cafe, I had um, some of the background paper that I had printed out and then I hadn't used. I had just used a portion of that last piece of paper. And it has all sorts of things that it says about being grateful and thankful and priceless and those kind of things. So I pulled some of that out. And then I had this really pretty um, 
wine, we're going to call it Merlot because that's the, what the color of the ribbon is, colored paper. Now I'm not sure where this is. I pulled this out of my scrap stash. I think it's probably something that I picked up at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or something. But um, on one side, this is the smooth side. It may even be coordinations actually because this is a smooth side and the other side has a nice texture. So I pulled that and as you can see, I've already corner rounded it on one side. I corner rounded um, using my 3 8 inch um, cropper, cropper dial. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with our card base and I have an eight and a half by 11 sheet of, or well, I took that 12 inch um, sheet of paper and I cut it at four and a quarter inches wide so that I wouldn't waste very much. And then I cut one inch off to make a four and a quarter inch by 11 inch um, piece of paper and I scored it at five and a half. Now I've already worked on the inside a little bit. So what I did is I took a piece of that red and I just cut it to fit and I didn't measure it, but I'm going to guess it's about five and a quarter. And then just a little piece of that runway tight, um, that the background paper from the cutting cafe. And then I, again, rounded off the corners on that. And then there's plenty of room for me to write my little message down here. And that's all I'm doing on the inside. So let's move to the front. This is going to be a very simple card. I've already adhered my background paper onto the red here. And again, I corner rounded both of these. Now, this time the background paper, um, th this piece was um, five and a quarter inches by four inches, but the, the background piece that I had printed um, was um, only an eighth of an inch smaller instead of a full quarter of an inch. So then I just have that sixteenth of an inch all the way around. So that makes this um, three and seven eighths wide by five and let's see an eighth um, this way. And so that's ready to go. I've already adhered that down. And then I'm going to take my Merlot. This is going to be, I tell you, this is super, super simple. So I'm going to take, I got a piece of my Merlot ribbon from Three Girl Jam. And I am going to just, I'm not going to adhere it yet. I'm just going to simply decide where I want to place it, making sure it's kind of smooth in the back. And then I'm not going to tie a bow. I'm just going to tie a simple knot. And I want to tie that knot right about there. Not quite centered, more off, offset, and you'll see why in just a minute. And we're just going to let that kind of fall. And then I want to make sure it's in the right place. And it is. So now I'll just turn it over and adhere it down. Find what I did with my ATG gun here. That I can tell by looking at it is obviously not quite straight. There we go. So let's adhere this down. I'm going to put just a little bit of extra adhesive because I don't want the bulk of the ribbon, even though it's super, super thin ribbon. I still want to make sure that it doesn't fall apart in the mail. And yes, this card is going to cost a little bit. You're going to have to add extra postage to it. Um, so keep that in mind if you're needing a whole bunch of thank you notes. This is probably not the thank you note for, for you. Um, but if you're just doing one or two, um, it works out well, or if you're hand delivering them as well. Okay, so that's, I just, at this time, I'm still gonna just let that flop. Again, double check placement here, that's where I want it. And I just am going to take a little bit of glue and glue down that knot because I want it to be really flat because basically what I'm wanting to do is I'll trim my tails in a little bit because I want the tails to kind of hang off of the bottom, almost like this was a bow. Just like that, oops, got caught on the glue there. I love crinkle, crinkle ribbon, but sometimes it has a bit of a mind of its own. It wants to go where it wants to go. So let's see if we can just manipulate it to go where I want it to go. If not, we'll put a little glue dot underneath it. So this is just gonna go right here and that can hang down if it doesn't want to. We'll just put some glue behind it. But I think what I'm going to do is instead of using just regular adhesive on this or glue, I want it to stay really well, but it's got a little bit of extra dimension over that knot. So let's go ahead and put down some foam. Just like that. There we go. 
and then that'll also hold those tails down kind of a little bit where I want them to as well. So there we have it. How easy was that? It says thanks, grateful feelings or thoughts, gratitude and an expression of gratitude give or gave thanks to God. So there we have it. Just a super simple card. And you know, now that I'm looking at it, I think I prefer not to have the tails of the ribbon. So I could probably have saved myself some ribbon and, you know, use the little cheating method and put it on the back. But that's okay. I'll remember that for next time, right? So let's go ahead and get rid of this excess tail here. Being careful not to cut my medallion. So there we go. Just simple, simple, simple. So thanks for stopping by today. And remember to take some time to enjoy the little things.